Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. Today I'll show you some interesting stuff. At some point, we all wanted to create our own functions and pass parameters into the function. This is possible in ClickView by using dollar sign expansion and assigning a placeholder in the variable and this placeholder is actually the field name which we will use in future. This is an advanced tutorial and you need to know about the dollar sign expansion before understanding this technique. So the scenario is, let's say we have like multiple measures. So let's say we have 30 measures and we will be using same calculation for the 30 measures. So in a classic situation, you will be writing 30 different expressions, which is very hard to maintain and which is not the best way of implementing things in ClickView. So instead, you can create one variable which holds the expression and then you can pass in your 30 fields or the measure fields into this expression and your dollar sign expansion will, will evaluate with the respective field name. So in this case, I've just created three gate charts and I wanted to show you based on three measures. So here I have net sales, cost of sales and then payroll. All of them are in millions. And uh, if you look at the expression, we will not have a dimension in here. So for the gate chart and uh, if you look the expression, if you see this is my expression, I'm calling UDF. UDF stands for user defined function. And then I'm saying underscore current year. And then I'm passing net sales as the parameter and the net sales is the field name. So let me show you those three fields. So let me right click, click on new sheet object, list box. I have net sales and then and then finally we need the payroll. Okay. And these three measure fields will use the same calculation layer. What I mean by that is, let me go to the variable overview window, scroll down and let's look at the current year. So this is my expression. Let me copy that and let me add a text box. Let me paste it here. Let me just adjust this so it's, it's readable. Okay, so if you see here, I'm saying sum of something which is dollar one, which is our input field, and then I'm saying and divided by million because we wanted to show it in millions. So let me add one more text box. Probably this will give you some clarity. Now I'll say UDF current year, and then I would say. Uh, let me get the field name first, sorry, net sales. And then now I would say, cut this and then I'd say UD current year, net sales. And now I would use the dollar sign expansion and click on apply. If you see it here, the total sales value is this number. So if I add one more list box and if I just say sum of net sales will be same as this number. Then finally, let me add one more list box. Now I'll use the double dollar sign expansion equal to this, the bracket. So first dollar sign expansion will fetch this particular expression and the second one will actually evaluate and give me will, will give me the result. In this case, the result is 295. So same way. Now let me delete this. Let me just copy this over. And now if I change this, come here and say cost of sales, which is our second measure cost, make sure it's case sensitive. So make sure you have, got, have the right field names on OK and then 
cost of sales. I like the camel case, I prefer using that. And if you see it's 74, and if you hover over on the gate chart, you will see 74.4, which is same. And let's look at the third one. And in third one again, I'll change this to payroll. Let me copy this. Let me save myself from typing, paste it. And if you see 79.37 and you see 79.37. So this will be a very, very useful technique if you have the same calculation repeated, but if you wanted to perform the same calculation on many, many measure fields, then this might be an approach. And remember, dollar one is just the first parameter. You can actually have dollar two, so on and so forth. So you can expand and make a complicated expression and you can use it as a user defined function. I hope this gives you a lot of ideas in terms of being more clever with your expressions and how you manage them. So thank you for watching. And I would also encourage you to participate in ClickView question of the day where I ask ClickView questions and you can answer them to assess your ClickView knowledge. You can see the results on my blog instantly and you can also compare it with the other developers. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.